So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niren here and today it is time for yet another episode of our FIFA 18 Confirmed Wonder Kids series and today as per usual I'm going to be bringing you 10 players who are guaranteed to be amazing on FIFA 18 career mode based on their potentials currently on the game on FIFA 17 and of course also their performances in real life for their respective senior squads. As per usual there's going to be a range of players that you will know and some that you may not necessarily know whatsoever but they are going to be very good on on FIFA 18 career mode and of course you'll be able to get a step ahead of the game before the potentials and ratings are even released for all the players in career mode but if you go on to enjoy the video then slap a like on it subscribe if you're new to the channel my social media links will be popping up at various points in this video first of all though probably the most obvious player in this entire video is this man Danny Ceballos 78 rated central midfielder playing for Real Betis on FIFA 17 but obviously he's just signed for a different Real and that is Real Madrid signing for the Galacticos over the summer for his in I mean this guy is just going to be a wonderful player like he's a joy to watch like he can do anything he makes the game look easy good ball control dribbling passing defensive stats as well very versatile can play as a center mid defensive mid attacking mid and on the left as well he's right footed so you could probably play him on the right too 19 years of age gonna have a potential of around about 88 89 a lot of people talk about Marco Asensio but uh, Danny Ceballos is definitely a man to watch out for in the future as well very very good player indeed next up though dipping completely back under the radar we've got Inter's new signing Alessandro Bastoni now unfortunately both the first two players in this video you won't be able to sign in the first transfer window because they've just moved themselves because this is Inter's new signing as I mentioned from Atalanta 64 rated 17 years of age with 84 potential uh, 72 jumping relatively decent pace good stand tackling actually as well for such a young player 72 as an attribute for a 64 rated 17 year old is very good and pretty tall as well which is always quite nice definitely watch out for him won't be able to sign in the first transfer window window again as I mentioned but he is going to have a very decent potential uh, is the new Inter man. Next up again th this seems to be a, a terrible trend in this video but we've got Amath Diedu um, or Amath I can't remember what is what is other uh, I think it's Ndaye as well he can be known as. He was on loan on FIFA 17 to Tenerife from Atletico Madrid but he's just signed for Hetafe so again very sorry won't be able to sign in the first transfer window but look at his information he can play as a striker, left mid, cam, very pacey, very agile, good jumping, good dribbling, good finishing four star weak foot four star skill moves it's just endless like and he's got 86 potential like what more do you want from the kid like he is very very good indeed got very very good information good attributes and he's probably gonna be one of those players that you really really enjoy using so after the first transfer window definitely check him out Jason Vargas though is next up we've got another very pacey player here 69 rated left winger from Chile high attacking work rate but low defensive that's not too much of an issue I've actually used this guy with inter career and his defensive work rate is actually pretty decent I don't know why it says low three star weak foot three star skill moves 81 acceleration 82 sprint speed 81 agility and 84 balance so he's best attributes, good dribbling, short passing and shot power as well. So back to the defensive side of life next, and we've got Issa Diop, the Toulouse centre back 76 rated, I think again he's a player who's already got very good potential on FIFA 17 because of his performances in league and a very high rated player over in France is this kid but still playing for Toulouse, I think a relatively mid table side over in league and his best strengths are interestingly strength which is 86, 84 on his jumping as well, very good defensive stats, 19 years of age, 6 foot four so very tall three star weak foot two star skill moves from France and again 76 rated with 87 potential he's gonna have an equally high uh, you know potential and rating on FIFA 18 very similar to like Malang Sar and some of the other centre backs playing over in France at the moment we've got the next goalkeeper though in this series we've not had many of them so far but I'm trying to implement more as we go along we've got Andre Onana the Cameroonian I think is this guy from Ajax Amsterdam obviously in uh, Holland he's got a trait interestingly which is rushing out of goal hopefully that doesn't affect him too much although he does have pretty low positioning his diving and kicking though were very high handling and reflexes of 77 to go along with his 77 overall and good jumping as well acrobatic save style 20 years of age six foot three from Cameroon I think his potential right now is 84 can see that getting bumped up to 85 though after his performances in the league and of course in the Europa League as well after that we're moving on to a player from a very interesting nation this is Luxembourg's own Vincent Thiel from Metz who seem to have a lot of players from Luxembourg I remember them having a really high potential Central centre back back in the day from there so I don't know whether they're based near Luxembourg but this guy is the next on the list he was actually involved in the team that drew 0-0 with France the other day uh, that kept France at bay 91 balance for a 16 year old what even is that ace to agility very good pace and free kick accuracy as well he's got 85 potential 
64 was it at the start of the game uh, yeah watch out for him I think he'll get bumped up to around about 67 or 68 and again he'll have a pretty high potential after bursting into the Mets first team during the season at a very very young age indeed next up though is left back Antonio Breca from Torino 89 sprint speed and 90 stamina are his best attributes with high attacking work rate too so he could be a very good player going forward on top of that decent defensive stats so they could be a little bit better of course he is only 74 rated so you wouldn't expect them to be up in the 80s or anything 21 years of age, as I mentioned, high attacking work rate from Italy, playing for Torino, so watch out for him. Very decent amount of players actually playing for Torino these days that are youngsters and have good potential. I think barreca has got 85 potential at the moment, and I think the same as this man here, Christopher Nkunku from Paris Saint-Germain. 70 rated uh, central midfielder. I think he still plays for PSG. I'm not entirely sure if he's moved anywhere on loan or anything, but pretty high rated again over in France. Had a few opportunities, I think, last season in the PSG starting 11. Decent attributes being acceleration sprint speed and balance being the highest ones. Uh, good short passing as well as ball control and dribbling which sort of defines what sort of midfielder he is. Uh, he can play as a centre mid or a left winger interestingly 18 years of age and was it 3 star week for 3 star skill moves or 4 star 4 star I'm not entirely sure I missed that one but you'll, you'll have been able to see all of his attributes, all of his information. If you want to pause on any of these players of course feel free to do so. But the final player carrying on with the trend of this video is another one you won't be able to buy in the first transfer window because Jan Caramo has left SM Khan in the French League to also join Internazionale over in Serie A or Inter Milan for those who don't fancy the full pronunciation. Very versatile is Jan Caramo, 18 years of age, good sprint speed and acceleration as well as stamina and dribbling, can play on both sides of the wing and as a striker and decent skill moves and uh, weak foot as well. He, he's only scored five goals and got four assists for Khan who are notoriously or were notoriously quite bad attacking wise last season uh, but he actually got the third most amount of appearances by anyone under the age of 19 in the whole of Europe playing 35 games across the league season, only beaten by Gianluigi Donnarumma and there was one other player from, I think, Spain. And they was, those were the only two players that played more games than him of that age bracket, so very, very interesting indeed. He's going to be a very good player on FIFA 18, but again, you won't be able to sign him in the first transfer window because he is Inter's new number 17. So now moving on to the players that you absolutely have to try during FIFA 18 career mode. These are the ones to watch, the players that I would really, really recommend out of these 10 that you sign. If you're using any team at all that has you know any kind of money, obviously you won't be able to sign these guys if you're Yeovil Town. I don't think you'll be able to sign any of these players if you're Yeovil Town. Um, but if you're even just using like a mid-table Barclays Premier League team or even a lower end EPL team, you'll still be able to buy some of these players. And first of all, we've got Vincent Thiel of Luxembourg. This guy really is the future of Luxembourg and the past and the present. I mean, there's not really been any players from Luxembourg before that you can even compare this kid too but breaking into the first team of Mets uh, at 16 is a very impressive achievement given they're in the top tier of French football so very interesting to see him play obviously he's already in the Luxembourg national team at 16 I know that's not a massive achievement realistically no offense to Luxembourg because I think they're outside the top 100 in the, in the FIFA world rankings but it's still pretty sick to be playing for your national team at that sort of age so definitely watch out for him next up we've also got Amath Ndai Diedu as well the man who just signed for Hetafe 12 goals in 35 games in the second division of Spanish football last season for Tenerife. Very good goal scoring record, very good season for him and Atafe have got a very good player on their hands with very good potential so definitely watch out for him and remember that he's got a like 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, high high on his attacking and defensive work rate, good pace, good dribbling, good finishing, all sorts of stuff on his information and attributes that will make him a very fun player to use. And finally on top of that we've got Christian Nkunku from PSG who is simply involved in this list because he's going to be pretty cheap. He's got a good potential. He should be about 72 or 73 overall, but because he plays for PSG and he's not necessarily high up in their pecking order, you could probably snipe this kid for about 4 mil in terms of, or 5 million in terms of price. I don't I don't see him being any more expensive than that. So he's going to be maybe a bargain buy based on the fact that he's playing for a team that aren't exactly going to have him as a key asset to the squad. So watch out for all of those guys. Vincent Thiel, Amazon Diedidu, and also Christian Chris 
Christopher, Sorry, and Kunku from PSG. But that basically brings to an end this episode of, of the uh, confirmed Wonder Kid series for FIFA 18. If you have enjoyed, then make sure to slap a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. All of these players should be very good indeed, but let me know which players you are going to be signing on FIFA 18 career mode. It isn't too long till the ratings are announced, and I'll be doing a special video once those have been announced on the players that are really, really confirmed Wonder Kids based on their new potentials. You can also now follow me though on social media links all over the, the internet. You can follow me on Twitter, my handle is at the official FNG, links are in the description and the handle is on the screen, and the same for my Instagram, it is the same handle at the official FNG once again, and links to that are in the description as well. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. I roll out with some monsters, Looks like your team and you watches. I do not roll with imposters. Tap like the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of Henry and Foster's. I have a career, I am jobless. This bitch f me so hard. I might just end up unconscious. I like girls in lingerie, especially if it is crossless. Bitch, I am the bigger picture. There is no way you can crop it.